hello friends today i'm going to show you you know that uh, we can call a fixture multiple times inside a test method right inside a test method we can call a fixture many times more than once but what happened when we call a fixture multiple times inside the same test method will the fixture gets called every time when we call the fixture or will the value get saved somewhere or cached let's discuss that in this video and it's an interview question also so please do watch the video completely so here i have defined one fixture my fixture and i'm just printing out one statement print of my fixture is called and i'm print, uh, returning some abc okay and uh, this cop is defined as function and now let me define one test method and which will call this fixture my fixture and then we can print out uh, one uh, print statement in, inside the test method also test method is called and then what we will do we will try to print out the value of the my fixture let's say result is equal to my fixture so whatever the value my fixture holds it will be printed out in the console and now let's run this and uh, what we got see what we got initially it called my fixture so it printed my fixture is called print statement then it came inside the test method and it called test method is called right and then it came to the last line which is result and what result is printing it printed abc because my fixture holds the value of abc right so it printed abc now what i am going to do i am going to call the fixture one more time inside the test method even though we are using inside the print statement we are calling the fixture again right we are calling it more than once so what will happen in this case so what does uh, what happened in the first case in the first case for the result one case what it happened it called my fixture so it went inside the my fixture and it printed out the statement my fixture is called then it came inside the test method and it called test method is called statement after printing the two print statement it printed abc because my fixture hold the value of abc right now what we are expecting in the case of uh, second result to we are expecting the same behavior but what is happening in the result see uh, the console uh, we can look at the console my fixture is called only once the print statement is called it's printed only once and then it printed test method is called then it printed result 1 abc and then it printed result 2 abc for the second case it did not go inside the my fixture it did not print my fixture is called statement again what it happened it printed only abc right that means my fixture the value the value of the fixture is getting cached whenever we call the fixture for the first time so for the first time when we call it hold that value it cached that value that means abc now whenever we call the fixture uh, second time inside the same test method it will just print out the value it will just print out that cached value it will not go inside the same fixture again right if it would have called the fixture again then we would have got the print statement my fixture is called again right but that did not happen in this case it was cached before so when we call the fixture uh, second time it just printed the cached value now let me write a few more print statements so what we are expecting we are expecting the same behavior for all these uh, print statement it will just uh, uh, print the cached value which is abc right so you can call the fixture uh, uh, more than once uh, by uh, writing inside the uh, test method also also you can call the fixture as an argument as an more than once as an argument also okay so how to call the fixture more than once as an argument we will see in the second example now i will show you one example which is defined in the official pytest test documentation they have provided a very well explained example in that documentation which is a little bit advanced example i'll be showing you that in the same video now let me define one fixture i'm using the same example which is provided in the documentation uh the fixture name is first entry and
and then I am returning some data which is A. Now let me define the second fixture pi test dot fixture and the fixture name is order. Here I am returning one empty array. So these are two independent fixtures first entry and order. First entry is returning A and order is returning empty array. Now let us define the third fixture which will call these two fixtures order and first entry. Uh, pi test dot fixture and let's give uh, one name which is append first. And inside the bracket we can call these two fixtures other two fixtures which are uh, order comma first entry and then what we are doing we are returning some data what data we are appending the data of a into the empty array that means order dot append of first entry so what we are uh, doing order is having empty array and we are appending first entry which is having a so we are appending the value of a into the empty array so finally the order will contain uh, an array of uh, a right so order will be having the content of a after when we call the fixture append first now let us define our main method which is uh, test method And the test method will call all these fixtures separately. So for the first step it will call append first. So append first it is like what is doing append first will in turn call order and first entry fixtures. But what we are doing inside the test string we will call order and first entry separately also as the arguments. So order and first entry will finally get called twice right. Now inside the test string what I am doing I am performing one assertion assert order is equal to equal to and inside the bracket I am defining first entry. So what order is having order is having empty array not empty array order is having a right because we are calling the append first fixture for uh, first time. So when we call append fixed fixture it will append the value of a into the um, empty array right. So the finally order will contain an array of a. So order is having an array of a and in the array side the right hand side what, the, what we are defining first entry inside the bracket. First entry is holding the value of variable a. So we are defining that inside the bracket. So that also looks like an array of a and we are validating a is equal to a right. And now what we are going to do we are uh, go, I'm going to print one print statement print of order and also print of first entry. So print of order uh, equal to equal to order and I am defining first entry and printing first entry inside the brackets only. So the assert statement is passed uh, and what we got in the print statement order values a array of a and first entry is also a so both are same and so the assertion statement is passed. And now what have we understand from this example so let's look into this example in detail. Now let me remove these two print statement. Now let me explain you. I said uh, whenever we call the fixture more than once inside the same test method the fixture value gets cached. The fixture value is cached right. Here what is happening. Let's say the value is not cached. Let's say if the uh, fixture value is not cached. We will see the first case. Case 1. Let's say the value is not cached. Then what happens? Let's see. As the first argument we are calling append 
first fixture right which indirectly call order and first entry fixture so first it will call order fixture which will have that empty array then it will call first entry which will have that value of a and then we are appending the value of a into the empty array so finally append first we will haul the value of array which contains the value of a right so let's uh, put that in this notepad append first will contain the value of array a array a okay now what we are doing as a second argument we are separately calling the fixture order what is order is having order is having empty array because we are considering the first case that means the order that means his fixture value is not cached if the fixture value is not cached that means order is still having the value of empty array only right not the value of a it is still having the value of empty array so order will have the value of empty array let's put that uh, into that uh, notepad so order is still having the value of empty array now as the third argument we are calling first entry first entry will always have the value of a right so first entry is having the value of a so let's put that inside the bracket now what are we performing in the assert statement we are asserting order is equal to equal to first entry that means let's replace order and first entry with the correct value let's replace order with the empty array and the first entry with the uh, array of a so what we are performing we are asserting empty array into a empty array against the array containing value of a that means the uh, assert statement will of course it will get failed right so this is the first case the value is not cached so if the value would have not cached that means we would have got the failed test case in the result right so that means uh, uh, the uh, case one is not happening in the background whenever the, we call the fixture it actually holding the value of uh, the fixture that means the value is getting cached so let's uh, consider the second case now that means the value is cached case 2 the value is cached which is the actual case so in the case 2 it will call append first append first will call order and first entry so finally append first will have array of a only uh, there is no change in that and then second time order uh, second argument is having some change second argument is order we are calling order fixture separately but since the value is cached because uh, order is already called in the append first fixture right it already called once now we are calling it for the second time that means the value is already cached before so it was already cached that means it is having the value of a order is having the content of a now first entry we will call first entry first entry there is no change first entry will have the value of a now we are putting inside the bracket and then what we are asserting we are asserting order is equal to equal to first entry that means we are uh, comparing two arrays which is having the content of a so we will get uh, the test case result passed only so this is the second case this is the actual case this is what is happening inside in, uh, inside the background when we call a fixture more than once inside the test method so the final observation is when we request a fixture more than once per test the returned values are cached so that's all about this topic i hope this video will be helpful for you in your interviews thanks for watching bye